Hey, what's up, here's Skull Mystic. I am here once again in the pet pavilion to test out a new pet for Baby Tomega that honestly I've been looking forward to getting since I first saw it out as a mob. That pet would be the, let me get to it, the Litter Critter. Now, there are other mobs that I would have liked to have seen as pets in the past. For instance, the Skirling Skirker from Avalon. I would have loved to have that little fuzzball. Looks sort of like a triple with legs for a pet. But, well, I didn't get that one. So, but at least, at least I got a chance at the Litter Critter. Let's go ahead and buy this bad boy. He's 2,000 crowns. So, in the, in the order of pets, he's really not super, super expensive. I can't say as I expect a lot from him. But then again, once you get the skin, you can make a better pet out of it. So let me go ahead and buy this pet now. And we're going to go with a random name because random names are always the most fun. Even though Tiny Rolf sounds kind of cool anyway. But let's go with random. Deputy Boomer. Let's go with random again. Old Buttercup. Let's go with random one more time. Third time's the charm. Princess Cooper. Alright, Princess Cooper it is. Done. Bye, Princess Cooper. There we go. Now, we have to wait for Princess Cooper to hatch. But, in this instance, we're really not going to do that because, well, I don't want to wait. So, I'm going to go ahead and spend the 100 crowns or whatever it is to hatch Princess Cooper. I know. I know. It's a racket. I know. I know. But, oh, it's 150 crowns. Okay, anyway. Just so Princess Cooper will hatch now and we can get this video done today. Okay, Litter Critter, Princess Cooper. Here we go. Princess Cooper is a... Let's do that there. Okay. Princess Cooper is a storm pet. Uh, that's kind of odd, but okay. Uh, I guess that... Yeah, I guess so. All right. No card, unfortunately. And you're looking at super lows on all the stats. However, you do have three epics here and an ultra rare four battle talents. Let's see what we got for race. Well, okay, it's a blob of gel. So yeah, to be fair, I didn't expect it to be a fast blob of gel. It's like that, like a little bit of mint toothpaste that you left in the corner of the sink last night and like some like hairs and stuff stuck to it. That's what the Litter Critter Pet reminds me of. It really does. <laughs> I don't know about the light in the front, but well, I can't, I can't really, uh, can't really uh, uh, rationalize that. But yeah, it looks like the blob of mint toothpaste with some of the stuff from the from the bathroom stuck to it in the middle of the night. Anyway, let's go ahead and train up young, young ma'am Cooper here and see what we get. I will be back as soon as we are ready for the next level up. Okay, and we're back. <laughs> we're ready for... <laughs> we're ready for the princess's teen level. Uh, I'm really kind of uh, taken back a little bit. It looks in its own way so ugly that it's cute. But you've got to hear the sound effect that they chose for this. To me, and tell me if you don't think I'm correct on this, to me it sounds like a lion hacking up a hairball. Listen to the sound effect for this thing. It's not at all what I would expect for a cute little blob of gel. All right. There. And get lined up. Right about there. I just made it a little bit low. Oh. Sorry, I talked during it. I'll let you hear it again in a minute. Yeah, I kind of talked myself there and like drowned it out a little bit. But you'll get to hear it. Did you hear that? What is that? It does. It sounds like a lion coughing up a hairball to me. That's, that's the closest thing I can describe it as. One more time now. Ready? Okay then. That is my cute little litter critter on the, I guess on a bad day. <laughs> I'm not sure. All right, let's see what we got here for the first talent. I'd like to pick up those three epics. You know that I would. Just to see what they are. I got, hey, oh, there you go. there's one of them, Armor Breaker. So you've got some Pierce. And you've got Charge, which is plus five morale of self, 30 second cooldown. Again, you can't really expect a lot on the race. He didn't really get that much full race talents in his pool period. Print or her pool, Princess Cooper. Armor breaker. Yeah. Alright. So here we go. Off for the next one. Alright, that was teen level. I'll be right back for adult level and we'll see what we get next. 
Okay, here we are ready for Princess Cooper's adult level of training. While I was training this pet, I was thinking about other pets that I would like to see in Baby Tomega. And honestly, there, there's always a little bit of a pet from here or there. Every new expansion has got some kind of a mob that I'd like to see as a pet. I did mention the Skirling Skirker. Is there any pets that you as a viewer would really like to see, or I'm sorry, any mobs that you as a viewer would really like to see made into a pet? I would love to hear your opinions on that. Slap a comment down there in the comments below. And I will, <laughs> I will apply my magic voice to King's Isle and see if this is one of those instances in which they listen to me. I would love to have some new and different pets for things that we already have in here. I liked the uh, cheese wits, the, or the cheese wits, the, the, the mice family that they had there, Papa Cheese, and oh yeah, I, I liked all of those back in the day when they came out, even though they weren't really related to anything. Every once in a while they come out with a hit for a pet that just, you know, just resonates. You're like, oh man, God, that's so cool, I gotta have that pet. And every once in a while they come out with a pet that has really good stats like the Black Panther Cub or the Party Corgi, uh, stuff like that. I would love to hear what you guys think about pets. Maybe we heck, maybe we make a video. Let's say, all right, here we go for adult level. To see what we get, and it's going to be a mana gift. So I got mana. <sighs> not the nah, not the worst talent ever. It could have been selfish talent, but not really the best talent either. All right, I got befuddle, which is removed up from next pet ahead. Eight seconds, forty-five second cooldown, and that's cool. All right. There we go for that. And I will be right back whenever Princess Cooper is ready for the ancient level. One moment for you, a lot of moments for me. Be right back. And here we go. Ready for Princess Cooper's ancient level of training. Hopefully something good, but more likely maybe not. Let's see what we get. I was noticing uh, also when training this pet that even though it's supposed to be a formless blob of sorts, I swear it takes the shape of like a turtle when it's flying through the air. Watch. Watch it real close. Did that look kind of like a turtle? I thought it did. It seems like these days, well, actually, not even these days, for the longest time now, we've had just the same old, same old pet talents over and over. I mean, sure, we got a pretty broad base of pet talents. Sure, we do, even if half of them are selfish. But we've got a pretty broad base of pet talents. But it seems like we've got the same ones over and over. When's the last time that we came up with a new pet talent? I, I might have to explore that question a little bit further here. All right, for this pet, though, this time, now we got a... Pip of Plenty! Oh, boy, I got Pips and Matt. This is a perfect starter pet. Perfect starter pet. Pips and mana. I mean, what else could you, yeah. All right, so I also got stall, which is negative 10% speed, or I'm sorry, negative 10 speed, not 10%. To next pet behind, 30 second cooldown with the ancient socket unlocked. Okay, there is ancient. Let me pop back up here again whenever I have the epic level ready to go, and I will be right back with that. And here we are at Princess Cooper's. Epic level of training. I'm really, oh my god. After the past two talents, I'm really wanting to pull one of those epics off there. I'm hoping it's not a bad epic. I don't really know. I didn't look ahead of time. I know this pet is a little bit, uh, I, I don't want to say dated. I, I know it's not new. I'll put it that way. So I'm pretty sure the pet pool is available, but I try not to look at these because I want to be surprised. So I don't know what the current epics are on this pet. So I, and I'd like to, oh, I went too hard, oh my goodness. And I'd like to find out, just at random, you know, with, with a good, with a good pet pool, pull. Say that five times fast, pet pool, pull. Shoo. And there, and there, and whammo. Let's see if I can clear the rest of that out, no. See, I, I already messed it up. Whenever you miss that first shot, like I just did, it kind of messes all the blocks up, so it really, fouls your whole program, but I can usually one or two shot this map, but it did not work out this time. See, look, it's just going all kinds of haywire now. Ugh. Anyway, as I was saying about the pet pool pull, 
I would uh, like to just happen to pull these epics in this pet training randomly. Not that I know that's going to happen, not that I even think that's going to happen, but I would like to. Alright, anyway, that train, that, <laughs> that mess of blocks is done. Let's see what we got. Here, and go with this, and go with the feed pet. And Storm Eye, okay. Oh, okay. Now, I said it in the last training, I'll say it this time again. This is the perfect starter Storm Pet. I got... Pips, I got mana, I got accuracy. I mean, if it added more life, if I got gain life from this pet, this would be the perfect starter storm pet. Not so much advanced, but definitely good for a starter. Okay, so I got storm mine, I got perplex, which is remove jump from next pet behind, eight seconds. I thought I had to remove remove jump like that or remove duck or something last time too. All right, All right. that is it for Princess Cooper's epic training let's go ahead and go to the mega i will be right back after countless 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 actually not quite countless it's 40 trainings i have to do from ancient into mega so i'll be back as soon as that's ready to go because it's gonna take a minute and uh, here we are at long last ready for princess cooper's <laughs> ready for princess cooper's mega level I swear, you guys do not see what goes on off camera. 40 trainings take so, so long. But last, I'm here, ready to go. This is the last training. We're going to see what Princess Cooper gets this time. Hopefully not another beginner pet talent. I would really like to see one of those epics come out. And, you know, we got two plain ones. Let's get two epics to kind of counterbalance it. All right. And... I don't know about, I think... There. Hopefully I'll one-shot that. Every once in a while, yeah, there we go. Every once in a while, that gobbler there on the left gets a little stubborn and doesn't want to fall. But most of the time, his buddy just comes and throws him under the bus and knocks him over, just like that one. All right. So what do we get? We get a whopping Storm Striker. Okay. Uh, okay. I, I can work with that. It's not an epic. But still not bad. Storm Critical is not a bad thing to have. All right. There we go. So that is Princess Cooper leveled up to Mega. Notice there's the, the Ultra there. I pretty much never trained to Ultra anymore. If they offered another talent, that would be cool. But just a gem? Nah, 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 not me. I can get gems other places. All right. Clear Path was the other thing we got for Race. Force Lane. Change to Leader. Lock Lane Leader for two seconds. 35 second cooldown. Even though, honestly, I don't think anybody... I don't think anybody, well, not almost nobody does pet races anymore, do they? I mean, really. Okay, I'm gonna just for the curiosity, just for curiosity, real quick. I know this isn't that kind of video, but I want to see what's going on here. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna do that because it cost me crowns. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna do that. All right. I guess I'll check that out another time. All right. Anyway, that is it. Princess Cooper, the ugliest. I mean, cute, I mean, cutest pet. Look. Princess Cooper's got a crown stuck to her lip. Ooh. Okay, I like this pet better already. Anyway, Princess Cooper, Baby T. Megan, that's it. This is what we got one more time. In case you didn't catch up with me on the talents, we got Pippa Plenty. Oof. Storm Eye. Okay. Mana Gift. Ah, Armor Breaker and Storm Striker. For race, we got. Notice how I very handily, by the way, managed to avoid the other two epics. For Derby, we got Charge, Befuddle, Perplex. Remove Duck and Jump. Oof, okay. And Stall with Clear Path. That is it. We, of course, maxed out the 170. Okay, except for Intellect. We have a dumb, cute, ugly pet. <laughs> there we go. I didn't do Intellect because I didn't use the right snacks for Intellect, but that's all right. I just wanted to level this pet up. That is it. Guys, if you enjoyed this video and my foolishness therein, by all means, like, subscribe, share, yell my name to the heavens, name your firstborn son or daughter. Scout works pretty good for either one, I think. I would love to have that. So far, I have one cat named after me. I'm shooting for a kid next. Give it to me, boys. Give it to me, girls. Let's have it. All right. Anyhow, until next time, this is Scout Mystic reminding you that whatever else you do, always love the game. Peace.